question this morning, and, and you're going to have to be brutally honest here to answer this one. How many here, and you can just simply raise your hand if it is true in your life, how many here has ever made a stupid decision? <laughs> Advertently or inadvertently, doesn't make any difference. How many of us have made a stupid position? You know, I name the focus stupid. Webster defines it. It's from stupide, which is a Latin term actually. Uh, and implies very dull, being very dull of mind. Forrest Gump said it better. He said stupid he is as stupid does. Mark Twain told us that nobody knows you're a jackass until you prove it. <laughs> Ricky Ger Gervais, I like him the best. I like his the best. Ricky Gervais said, you know, when you're dead, for you that's okay because you don't know it. But everyone else is left to deal with it. Well, the same is true when you're stupid. You don't know it, but everyone else is left to deal with it. You know, there's one of the subjects honestly, that Jesus tried to teach his boys. And let's face it, those 12 guys were a little rough around the edges. They weren't debutantes by any stretch of the imagination. Peter was a look before you leap. James and John were the sons of thunder. Simon was an ex-zealot. Matthew was a tax collector. Uh, Judas was a, a, a thief and a betrayer. You know, it's not what you would call uh, Better Homes and Gardens' greatest group. So Jesus had to work with these guys and say, Boys, before you do something stupid, I want you to sit down and think about it. Now, I think the most stupid event in the Gospels, you know what I think the most stupid event in the Gospel was? The Garden of Gethsemane. The priests come, they have lots of Roman soldiers with them to arrest Jesus. They have swords, they have spears, they have torches. And in the, in the zeal of the moment, Peter pulls out a big knife and cuts off a guy's ear, the slave's ear, who was a servant of one of the priests. I don't think he was aiming for the ear. I think he's aiming for the head. Now, that is about as smart as running out of a 7-Eleven having shot the clerk and robbed it and there's a thousand cop cars and they're all pointing guns at you and you pulling out your weapon. <laughs> what do you think's gonna happen? <laughs> Peter nearly bagged and trashed the entire three-year project. And one second, it's no accident Jesus reacted immediately saying, Stop it! You live by the sword, you die by the sword. And immediately he picked up the ear and healed it on that guy. Mm -hmm. Zeal, as noble as that might seem, zeal, excitement, without intellect to back it up can be more dangerous than the enemy standing in front of you. If there's a thousand policemen outside that store, don't run outside and pull your gun. Unless, of course, you want to be destroyed. Because if you don't want to be destroyed and you do that, well, stupid is as stupid does. The fact of the matter is, we all make stupid decisions. Have I ever made one? <laughs> Are you kidding me? I'm the master of stupid. And I told you before, and this is really a true story. When I was a young boy, Dad always <coughs> tried to encourage his sons. If I had four sons. He had four sons. And he said, boys, I want you to go with your strength. And I said to him, I said, Dad, I'm an idiot. He goes, well, be a good one, son. Okay. 
Have I made bad decisions? Oh, yeah, lots of them. In fact, the only good decision I made was Carol, marrying her 41 years ago. And that was her only stupid decision. <laughs> <laughs> was marrying me 41 years ago. Christianity, first and foremost, if, if you take the biblical definition of faith, Christianity, or faith in God, begins with knowledge, wisdom, God's word studied, God's word known, God's word in your mind and in your heart, and then a brain that's smart enough to think it through. Our last lesson today about practical Christianity is you've got to be as shrewd as serpents, as Jesus said, but gentle as doves. But he made it quite clear, use your God-given common sense. See, the Lord doesn't need any more idiots. There's plenty of them on earth right now. He needs a few people that can at least sit and think it through. The age-old adage, you know, leap, uh, look before you leap. We're going to talk about that this morning. I want you to stand up one final time.